Would you want to present assets or liabilities and their year-over-year -year change from the balance sheet? Don't use a spreadsheet. Do it visually instead. So here's what we typically see the results from uh, when we do our financial reporting. We've got all of our asset and liability categories. We've got the amounts from this year, previous year, and their change. Spreadsheets overwhelm audiences, especially executives and boards of directors. So instead, use visual like this. This is a visual that the executives and board can easily see the comparison of the size of each of the asset categories, and they can see how much they increase or decreased from the previous year. Now, how do we create this sort of a visual? Because it's created in plain vanilla Excel. You don't need anything additional in terms of like programming or add-ins or plugins. The first thing we need to do is to pre prepare the data to create that graph. And what we've done here is we've set up the data. A few things to note here. First of all, the very first data series is a spacer segment. Uh, the spacer segment is going to allow the visible segments to be positioned where they need to be because the spacer is going to be invisible. That graph is a stacked column graph, which we'll get to in just a moment. The spacer segment positions the visible segments where we want them to be. And the values, we've changed them into thousands because otherwise the labels get very long and really clutter the graph. We don't need that amount of precision when these numbers are so large. The data, the labels for the change, they're going to be positioned using a data series for that specific purpose. So we've added another data series to position the labels where we want them to be. So you start to see that we can use invisible data series to position visible items, not just the segments, but also the labels. And then the labels we have actually created text labels because we're going to use a feature of Excel that allows us to position labels where we want them to be and to select the text for those labels from a different set of cells. So we're going to create this visual using a stacked column graph. That's the type of graph that we use. And what we do is, is once we create that stacked column graph, the first thing we need to do is we need to change that label position data series to be a line graph from a segment on that stacked column graph. We make it invisible so that the line is not there, but it still allows us to position data labels later on. The spacer segment, we talked about that one, that we're gonna set to be invisible, no fill and no line. It doesn't show up, leaving the only visible segments being the specific asset categories and the total. The default column width is not wide enough, so we make that wider and we change the total to a different color to make it visually stand out from each of the segments. Adding the data labels is fairly simple for each of the, the segments. We just add the value of that particular segment. We format it to be dollars uh, and with the commas, so it looks uh, appropriate for the graph that we're creating. Where we get to that uh, next step in terms of labeling is to take that change label position data series, that invisible line, and add data labels to it. We add it above where the line is, so that puts it above each of the segments, and we select the text for the label from that series of cells that we had set up specifically for this text. So when your message is showing asset or liability category values and year over year change from the balance sheet, use a steps to a total graph. That's what that graph is called. It's really a stacked column graph and the example allows you to see how it can visually show this to executives and board of directors much better than a spreadsheet. If you like this graph, please give it a thumbs up down below. If it was helpful for you, add a comment if you liked it and uh, what you liked about it, what other topics you want me to cover in these videos so that you can show financial results and analysis visually. If you want to get notified of future visuals, subscribe to this channel and share the video with others either on social media or other ways. Of course, you can always go to financialviz.com or thinkoutsidetheslide.com to find out how you can bring effective training to your team to create these sorts of visuals for your financial reporting and presentations.